And we back. Another episode, another vibe, another approach. Look, a little background on I Am Athlete. Man, we created this dope little safe haven for athletes to sit down, break bread. That's why we eat on our shows. You know, we like to take chances. You got tea time. You got Ocho versus science. You know, but at the end of the day, man, we have conversations. We don't interview anybody. And so what you're looking at right now, you're looking at us taking another chance. You know, I feel like we set the standard over the last couple of years on how people approach podcasting. Everyone had microphones in their face. Everyone had headphones on. We took that shit to a whole nother level, premium quality content, mm. our production, the way we dress, all of that. Mm. Yeah, I'm talking to them. Talk, yeah, let me talk a little spicy. bit. We get spicy. <laughs> Good? Yeah. <laughs> but look, here we go right here. Look, man, like it, it, it's hard to keep up with, you know, all the opportunities that we have. So what you're seeing is a new approach. Okay. I don't know. You know, we like working titles here. And, and you guys tell us what y'all what y'all want this show's name to be. It's not a show. It's the same show. But not every time we're going to be able to sit down and produce at a high level. Right. We want to be able to take advantage of those opportunities. So there's sometimes we're going to be able to sit down with people on Zoom. Sometimes we need a production like this where we can just get after it. So. Is this IAA straight four, IAA straight up, IAA no cap, really don't like that one, IAA unfiltered, IAA offset, I like that one, IAA uncut, no, I don't like that, IAA the real, IAA now, IAA the warm up, IAA raw, uncensored, unlocked, or first cut. It gives us an opportunity to sit down with more legends. I got one. What you got? IAA, bitch. Ooh, <laughs> our way. Look, so sitting to my left, we got Adam Caporell. You can find his work in Complex, Men's Health, Yahoo, New York Daily News, and so many others. He's been covering athletes at, the high, at a high level for a very long time. You know, I reached out to him because of who's sitting to my right. I ain't going to give you that yet. And then also, my right-hand man, the dude. You know, Ocho, that's it. I need to say no more. So this guy that we're sitting down with, you know, he's 27 years of age. Legend. Multi-division champion. Legend. Some say he's the next, the second coming of Mike Tyson. Legend. One of the hardest punchers ever. After oh, me. Okay. <laughs> Rock of a left hand. Mm. One of the stars in boxing. By way of Roland Park, Baltimore. We out here. <laughs> Two. Javante <Dave> Davis. <laughs> we out here. Thanks for having me, man. I heard a legendary story of Drake, you know, doing some road work with you. Um, how was that? That was, it was, it was cool. I mean, he didn't finish the, the run. <laughs> <laughs> he did a little clip and that's what, that was it. But he probably, I mean, it was cool just to have somebody like that, you know, to be around to come into my world and see what, what I'll be doing. So right. it felt good, you know? Drake, when you say he ain't finished the run, talk to us about that. Like, I mean, how many miles was it? You know, you know how much, how many miles did he complete? He probably did 50 steps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he probably did 50 steps. Come on, Drizzy? We, we was playing basketball, though. We was playing basketball, then I ran after. So... I only did it because I was really, I wasn't really supposed to be at, like, out there with them. You know, I just went out there just because yeah. he invited me. So, and it was before a fight, so I'm like, I got to do something right, else. Right, like, right. I can't just play basketball. I got to run. So, that's right. what I did. What do you think about the Logan Pauls, the Jake Pauls, and the other guys, like Ultra Cinco, fighting and, and what they bring to the uh, world of boxing? Is that a good thing or is that a bad thing for boxing? You know, I've, I feel as though, at first, I didn't like how Jake Paul was coming in up. Why is that? Because of how he was making it look like, like he'll call out somebody else that's like. But now that I see that, he, I, I feel as though he's still a, a clown because that's his personality. He's still a clown. That's how he gets but, paid. Yeah, you're not wrong about but that. But as far as him, like, content, like, in the gym, I feel like I, I'm starting to respect it because he's not doing it, like, for the hype. He was really, like, trying to be a boxer. Okay, but real talk, if he actually faces a real boxer, which we haven't seen yet, I 
you're shaking your head. But real talk for you, Tank. If he gets his ass in the ring with a real boxer, what's gonna happen? I mean, if if they pick his if they pick his fight right, I think that he's 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 decent. Yeah. Like he's he's good. I mean, he's not good, but he's he's going that way. If he's continuing to do like stay in the gym, yeah. Like you say, like you get up in the morning, mm-hmm. like he, he's a boxer. You know what I mean? He's in the gym, so. Is he better than you thought he'd be? Yeah. Cause he's anybody will be good if they keep practicing it. You know what I mean? I mean, you tell me, and again, you train all the time. You're obviously a pro, but, like, there are people that say that the Pauls aren't a bad thing for boxing because they actually are taking the sport, especially Jake Paul, somewhat seriously. Like, he's actually training. He's actually busting his ass in the gym all the yeah. time. And that gives actually some boxing fans and some, you know, observers and guys like you and you have actually earned, or at least you give him respect for that. I mean, yeah. he's Like you say, he's, he's in the gym. He's working, so... You damn that can call him a boxer now. Well, he is a boxer. He's professional, yeah. He, yeah, three and up, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he a boxer. When you saw him, uh, well, first did you watch the the Woodley fight? Yeah. When he knocked out Woodley, what yeah. went through your mind? He could hit. He damn, he he could hit. I mean, but it just we got to see him once he once he face another boxer then it don't have to be somebody that's crazy like skill or not just face another boxer you know what i mean just face somebody probably like two and oh three and oh and, th- and we'll see but how do his hands compare to yours because your hands are like <laughs> cement bricks your your hands are like absolutely ridiculous and you just crush guys i mean we can't i don't know i can't i can't say well give yourself a little credit man i mean you crack like few guys in the game like you're one of the hardest punchers in the game you gotta give yourself a little credit he he also 200 something pounds (laughs) i know it's a massive weight difference 100 percent yeah he's hitting you know i mean he's he know what he's doing now why are we talking about hitting and all of that bro like when you go in there when i be watching your I wouldn't say I'm on a level when it comes to boxing. Like they really know boxing. I'm a fan of boxing. I I personally think it's the greatest sporting event that you can consume live. Mm-hmm. I love everything about it. But I like old school approach. I like going to Vegas or Barclays. You got to fight in Barclays. You know, um, you know, or wherever, and dressing up. Yeah. I like coming in a suit. I like my lady on my on, on my by my side. She fly. I want to sit ringside. Although the risers are the better seats, people spend a lot of money sitting ringside, but the risers is the better seats. But I like that, bro. And then when you get there, and if it's a really good fight, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's just unbelievable, man. And I've experienced a, a, a lot of sporting events. Um, but for me, watching you, bro, you're a brawler, bro. Like, you know, the, the last couple of fights, like you're getting in there and, and, and it's like, Bro, you be taking some hits. You be really in there fighting. Yeah. Like, your chin tough, but you don't think you need to be more strategic in there? I mean, the only thing about that is me, I feel as though it's, it's sometimes you go in there and you – I'm not here to look pretty. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. when I go in there, I want to – if I can get you out of there, if I could take probably two shots, but I know for sure if I land this one off, it's gonna knock you out, and I'm and I'm all about being a sighting. I'm not into just boxing. You know what I mean? A sighting, like right. I want to be like, I want to be like all into it. Like I want to be like, oh yeah, I'm going. He's he's coming back to watch me. Right. This time. You know what I mean? A lot of fighters not like that. They just want to get by. Isn't you know that when you say that's risky though? I mean, it's 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 risky, but I don't think I took a lot of punishment far as as a pro level to be you know what i mean that's why now like we used to spar like every day and then when i turned pro we spar monday wednesday and friday now i probably only spar probably like now in this camp i probably spar like twice right. twice a week or one time a week you know what i mean just so my body can be able to take whatever in the fight and not leading up to it you know what i mean it just it's about like how you prep for the fight Right. You know, I think I think his style of fight, the way he fights, is he can also be strategic and base it on what the opponent does too. Yeah. If he want to box, he could box. If he want to relax, he could relax. If right. he want to brawl, yeah. But well shit, nigga, we could brawl too. However you want to approach it. Yeah. That's what I like about watching his fights. 
everything is methodical and it's, it's strategic. It's a chess match. That's because right. he's seeing me in the gym, though. Right. He's yeah. seeing me like work. See, a lot of people don't see. They just see me in a in an actual fight, but he actually seen me in right. like training. It's it's funny that y'all say that because and oh, you know this, you know, as a football player, especially a wide receiver. And I heard you on Million Dollar Worth a Game um, this past week. And, uh, you, you know, you, start, you said something. You, you said uh, in that interview with, with, with Wallow and Gilly, you said, um, you know, like, man, when I get hit is when the fight begins. Mm. Yeah. Bro, like, oh, you know this, bro. Like, going across that middle, mm. that, first, that first tap, yeah. that first little feel of content, yeah. I mean, of contact, that's when the football game yeah. began for yeah. us. Like, what do, you, what do you mean by that? Like, you know, because – a lot of people look at it, take one punch, they gone, right? Like, yeah. you feel like, oh, okay, I, I got hit, I got hit again, now I'm ready to fight. Describe that. Because it's, it's all about, like, even, like, now, to, like, now me in the fight. Like, you don't really, I mean, me leading up to the fight. It's, it's preparation, and then, then it's, it's the weigh-in, you know what I mean? Then it's, like, press conference, mm -hmm. then it's, like, you got to walk your way to the ring, and it's, it's the fight, no it's 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 good, but when you actually in it and then somebody touch you and you be like, oh, I know what it is. Like mm -hmm. now, if he touch you and be like, and you feel like, damn, like that's too much, then you be like, damn, like I'm in a fight. But if he <laughs> right. touch you and you be like, and you know you could take it, you be like, all right, bet that's what it is. This will make you like, this. even if he touch you and he be like, damn, like he had hard, you you get that like you get that feel. It gets you that that drilling like, oh yeah. I'm in a good one. Right, you know right, I mean? so right. It's all that's that's it. But a lot of people don't have that though. A lot of people get touched and be like, "Damn, like I don't even." Yeah, I tried. To, I used to try to uh, speed that process up. Like before I went out, I would go in the mirror. The last thing I do, make sure my uniform was straight, and then I would just start slapping myself in the helmet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had somebody else hit me, hit me. But that's not that's not that's not the same as somebody actually hitting you. I know it ain't the same, but at least it's it like hype. But it's like. A control, yeah, like it's a control like, it, it, yeah, it gets you hype, but it's like you gotta actually feel it, like you feel me, right? That, that's why it's it's cool to get hit sometimes. Not, no, it's not. It's not cool <laughs> to get hit, but sometimes you want to feel somebody punch before right. before they ask. Like, says like they throw like two punches. If you feel that first punch a little bit, okay, you you can embrace the second punch. But if you if he hit you the first time and like you never been hit before, and he catch you good. It's like, damn, like, I've never been hit like this. So it, you probably fall out or get knocked out. Right. Who you fought in Atlanta? I fought twice in Atlanta. I fought. The la with well, the last one, man, I mean, um, hit the city came out. Nah. What's his name? You don't even what's know his name. Talk about what's his name. Barrios. 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 Wasn't that a, that was a brawl. What was the one fight that was a brawl, bro? Uh, Gamboa. Did he get you? Did, did, did he have power? I, no, I'm, he had power, but he didn't have power. Whereas though, he caught me, and I was like, "Damn!" Right. I know people in the gym caught me. I'd be like, "Damn!" But nobody, I'm never, not never, but I'm, I will prevent somebody to, from hitting me clean, clean, right. and make me feel like I'm right. messed up. I'd rather like do something like block or something or if they hit me clean it's gonna be like something close up right right it's right it's never gonna be like from far back yeah so. um I, I ain't trying to hijack this conversation because y'all the boxing as experts <laughs> but this is gonna be my last thing i'm gonna let them boys take over uh appreciate you coming yes, on sir. ocho adam javante tank davis second coming of mike tyson legend legend um not yet <laughs> not yet i not am yet. athlete got working title for this show uh, but what's the one dude this is my last question i'm gonna let them take over but like the one dude you got beef with you know the legendary stories i think i think gillian wallow hit it but i mean you've had multiple interviews where you talked about you know sparring with them what's his name what's his name devin haney devin is that real beef no it's i don't have beef with him it just Cause sometimes when you watch boxing, I don't it's know like, if y'all trying to promote or if it's real beef. Like, is that real beef? Cause it sounds like it's real. But beef. But that was a good story you told in the podcast, though, about the sparring session you had with Devin back in the day. 
yeah. and Floyd getting involved too. I mean, you guys have history, and Devin didn't want to spar with you again. No, he didn't. Well, I mean, I mean, there's two stories out there because the other story was that you didn't want to spar with him or you dropped or you quit or something. Not quit. I don't want to say that. I ain't trying nah, to vibe, you know. It's not that. Um, what happened? So Floyd, I was, I mean, Adrian, Adrian Broner was coming up. He was fighting Sean Porter in Vegas. He was fighting Sean Porter in Vegas. So they invited me to come to the fight. Well, no, nah, they didn't invite me. I asked to come because I was young. I probably was like 17, 16 around the time. I was 17 or 18, I think. Oh, man, we talking about 10 years ago? Yeah. It it's was been a little while, yeah. yeah. Can we move on? <laughs> no, I thought it was something recent. Well, they, yeah, 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 they, they made me each other at some, what's some point. Name? So, boom. So, um, I don't really like speaking on other fighters. I don't want to big them up because, you know what I mean? But still. Well, we're going to bring, we're gonna so, bring up some other fighters, though. Right, so, just, just be prepared so, for it. Um, they fly me to Vegas. Boom. I'm fresh off the off the um, plane. Boom. So, we, from the plane, uh, Adrian had a, uh, um, the weigh-in. So, from the weigh-in, from his weigh-in, they meet us at, at the food spot. So, from there, we go to the gym. So, remind you, they already got this set up. Floyd already got it set up. He, he already posted on Instagram. It probably was like 100 people in there, and he turned the heat up. That's what Floyd do. He turned the heat up in the, um, in the gym while right. you in there. So he turned the heat up, boom. We spar. But while we sparring, Floyd is in the ring. Like, every time I'm punching, Floyd would, like, grab my hand, like, like yank it back, whereas though I can't even punch uh, Devin. So it was times that, like, I catch Devin, boom, and – or – I'm about, I'm about to swing, and Floyd, uh, like, yanked my hand back, or he'll push me to the ropes. Like, he was actually, like, touching me while we were sparring. Like, Why? Like, he was – because it, it was like Devin was his guy because was, Devin was training at his gym at the time. So – and he was training with his father. So, it, um, Devin was on – I mean, Floyd was on Devin's side. Sounds so like that's a conspiracy to me. <laughs> yeah, but – Later down that um later down the line, probably about like a couple months. No, nah, this was recently, not recently, but probably like two years ago. I asked Devin to like come to like spar me. And he was like, no, nah, I ain't no sparring partner. I had somebody uh, part. I mean, hit him up that was close to him, like come spar me. He was like, no, nah, I ain't well, no. But why would he say no to that? He said he wasn't no sparring partner. What the? I don't but didn't? But didn't? I thought you said that he said something to you where it's like I'm above that at this point. Like I'm not. I'm not. I'm not your kind of sparring partner. Like he just didn't want that. What was the reason why he said no? He, he the only he said that he wasn't no sparring partner. That's what he said. And the person showed me his phone. Yeah. Matter of fact, his the the guy. So y'all can or whoever can hit him up. Yeah. His name is T Hill, the guy the guy that and he was a sparring partner for Floyd. He'd be out in Vegas. So that's the guy that showed me the well, message. Well, like, Devin would have got a good work with you, so he should have should have done the sparring session. So um, I don't know. Uh, you seen him spar? Yeah, I know what I'm saying, but, like, you know, you it would have been good work. He, he here for Ag, how, how long? Ask him, too. I do we want to talk about Roly, or do we want to just kind of move on because you should take care of business? And I mean, he no. did say you, you can't no. overlook any opponent. Yeah. 100% you can't, you can't overlook an opponent, opponent, but, like, you're a massive favorite, and your skill but set that's and your what, resume. That, that's what get people. 100%. You're not wrong about that. But everyone that knows you and knows your pedigree just wants to talk about the fight after the next fight. Who? Cool. Well, that's the question I'm going to ask for you. Is mm. that going to be Ryan Garcia? Is that going to be Lomachenko? Who is that going to be? Hopefully. Hopefully we could get even – to be honest, I, I really want to – I can't say who they had set no, it up. No, you can for say me. who you really want. It's okay. I can't say who they had set it up, set up for me after, but I want to get the winner out of Devin and Cambosis. But don't you think they're gonna fight twice? There's probably a rematch clause there. I think there is actually. Yeah, That'd be so great. I mean, I'd love to see it. So but I'm probably gonna have to fight Ryan. Ooh. Ryan, Ryan, okay, so we got plenty one. of questions about that. Ooh. Is that an actual makeable fight, though? Because, of course. Well, no, I asked that, Giovanni, because last, didn't last summer you guys came really close to making that fight? For him, it wasn't. He the one turned it down. He went. Because he wanted to go fight uh, Manny Pacquiao. Yeah, but that. Which is ridiculous. Why would you, right. Yeah. Why would you turn down a fight with me to fight Manny Pacquiao and 
Manny Pacquiao, they ain't never heard about that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why Ryan. We talked about this earlier, Chad, before right. we started taping. But I don't know why Ryan would go up multiple weight divisions to go fight Manny. I mean, I get that he's gonna make a shit ton of money, and it's Manny Pacquiao. It's like you know the spotlight, but that's a huge jump up in skill level and weight. And but I guess just to confirm though, you guys were somewhat close, but Ryan basically ducked out of negotiations and didn't want to deal with you and decided to go with Manny. But listen, why would he he turn a fight down with me to fight Manny Pacquiao? Cause that he's wouldn't going he get more money with Manny though? Yeah. Yeah. But that's a that's a that's a hell of a verse. That's a lose lose situation. I agree. It would have been dicey. But I mean, we can say it's also lose lose yeah. either way. No, you can, no you can say respect. that. I'm saying, but he he get. I don't know. But every every casual fight fan here or hardcore fight fan like is dying to see you and Ryan Garcia get in the ring. So why would you turn it down? That you got again. Ryan has Ooh. the answer to that. It doesn't really make any sense. I mean, I again, if you want to get a massive payday from Manny Pacquiao and get like fifteen to twenty million dollars, it's tough to turn down. I don't that's know if he's not even. Get, to be honest, that's not good. Twenty. You think he get 20, more fighting you? Yeah, for sure. Really, especially now. Yeah. Yeah. I think now, yeah, hundred percent of you guys' profiles keep rising. But I guess the, again, the, the the most pressing question, the most important question is, is the fight makeable this year between you two guys? Yes. Ooh. If everything go good with me and Roly. Well, I win. I, I think everything's going to go good with you and Roly. So don't, <laughs> again, we're not that you're overlooking that, but like you should take care of business. But yeah, it's like we're dying to see that. And I know the issue has been either money or kind of, you know, attention being, you Whoa. know, averted. Whoa. Well, on Ryan's side. And Ryan not, said, and again, you guys will kind of go back and forth saying that I should be, you know, some guys should be the A side. Some guys should get 70 30 or 80 20. Could you guys do a 50 50 split? No, it's not. It's, Come on, man. How you <laughs> oh, come on. Why is you got to so get more money in boxing, it, 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 bro. It, 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 bo- this is the politics it's very, of boxing. It's very, it's very difficult. Very yeah. difficult. I mean, it's part. Of, it's part of the business side and the politics side yeah. that that I don't enjoy because there's so many there's so many great fighters and so many great fights that should happen that never happen or they happen too late. Yeah. I, I just that's one side that I never understood. Never right. understood that side. The people in control that control everything. They control the narrative. The timing of everything, and also for the boxers, sometimes timing is the most important thing. Right. When it comes to scheduling fights or getting the fight at the right time, instead of just doing it, just do it. Man, that's too much for me, and that's what you're trying to get into. Who, well, I would never be at that level. I'd never get <laughs> I'm there. Bl- okay. It's impossible. Yes, like you think, you, you think the there. politics of the NFL are fucked up? It's nothing compared to boxing. Yeah. Like boxing, again, boxing shoots itself in the foot more than any other sport out there, and it sucks for the people that follow and love it, and it should be so much better than it is. But I guess my question I have for you is that you've been in the game now for so long, like a decade. Do the politics of it, like, just are you over it? Or are you still pissed off about it? Or, like, are you just like, you know, at this point, it is what it is? That's why I don't pay attention to it no more. I just worry about fighting. Whoever y'all pit, my goal is to beat whoever y'all pit in front of me. That's how I solve it. You know what I mean? That's why you don't hear me call nobody's name out. I don't want to call nobody's name out. I don't ask. For, y'all send me the names, send me the name who I'm fighting, and that's it. But there, but there, but but also like there comes a time where you're in that moment. I feel like you, you, you're probably in that moment or entering that moment where you rattle off two or three dope fights. It's like now, you know, you're already one of the faces of boxing, but then you become the face of boxing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, you know, the Ryan Garcia, I like that. Um, Loma. You got Devin Haney, yeah. I, I, Devin. Ob- obviously, right? And then the third. You fight in the best division in boxing as far as I'm concerned. Lightweight division. Right. I mean, you can float around different divisions. You could go to 130. You can go to 140. You fought at 140. You say you can get down to 130. I have a tough time believing that, honestly. But. I'm, I'm one. I'm probably. At the what are you right now? 143. All right. That's, that that's doable. All right. That's doable. Probably 143.5. After the donut? Yeah. <laughs> we, can, we can check my weight. <laughs> well, no. Yeah. If Tank had a nutritionist right now, the nutritionist should be like cursing. The, right cursing you. I have it. You have one? Yeah. All right. Because I know Spence had one for his past fight. You have one? No, I'm, I'm his nutritionist. Tank take your oh, thing. Oh, perfect. So, yeah. Yo, y'all. Hey, hey, the, hey, boxing. Y'all better watch out. You know, because I even on, again, salute to the OGs, Wallow Gilly. And, you know what I mean? They highlighted like, and we all have this, this maturation phase where, you know, where we come from, like we come from nothing, man. And that's why I was playing with you earlier when I said you from, you know, whatever, Rolling Park, you yeah. know, Baltimore, and you, thanks for showing love, like, dang, my dog, you know what I'm saying? Oh, my my dog, you know, you, <laughs> he messed up, but you was riding with me. You yeah. ain't want to make me look bad. Yeah. Like, see, that's where we come from, right? We, we take care of each other. 
But where we come from, man, like we come from nothing. And, 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 and it's like now you're 21, 22, you're given all of this freedom, you're given all this money, you got this fame. And it's like, what do you do with that? We didn't like the Manning brothers. Mm. They had their dad, Archie Manning, who showed them the way. And you can go, you know, athlete to athlete and you can go comparisons, bro. Like a lot of us, we're first generation millionaires. We don't know. But like what I love yeah. about your journey right now, it's like, OK, you got this raw talent. You got the work ethic. You know what I mean? And, you, you know, the first couple of years, just like my my first couple of years, my first five years mm-hmm. in the NFL, I played 13, bro. Oh, shit. Then and then, then and then. Brandon Marshall. Hey, <laughs> like, damn. You know, you know what? It's a testament to the people he got around him, too. Right. You've been on the right track the whole time, flying straight. Think about that part. Not right. only whoever it was that got him out the group home and put him in the gym, right. whatever you got around him now to make sure everything is that way. Right. Know? And I mean, you got Cuddy, you know, you got Coach, and you got, you know, I mean, you got a whole camp. I don't understand, like, boxing, like, why y'all got, y'all got, like, you got, like, they be having, like, 20 people on their <laughs> team. <laughs> One person with 20 people on their team, but that's what it is. And, you know, what I love about it now is, like, that he's tapping into the science, Ocho. Mm-hmm. I know you don't like the science, but, bro, like, I mean, how he's training, he's implementing data. You got Mo Wells training with you and Coach Curtis. You know what I mean? Like, you can see you ascending uh, to, like, like a pro. Yeah. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. That's what I love. Yeah. 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 And I think I, I started too late on it. You know what I mean? If I already felt like, I mean, because it's it's like we ain't had no book of of guidance or anything like that. Mm-hmm. So it was just more so of me just learning the way. On you know what run. I mean? Just, and now that I see that, you know what I mean? Like, at first I was just training, training, training and never getting no recovery or nothing. Right. I mean, now it's about like body recovery and things like that and shit. Like, but was there so a moment though that like one, this, one second, one second? Ahead. Let me ask you this question. So, what athletes are you train? Are you studying? Right, and this is almost like you know, like I you know, I feel like you know we're in position to to kind of have these conversations because we already been there. Now, obviously, it's a different arena, it's a different ring, right? But at the end of the day, like we've been there, you know, and we bumped our head and. You know, we've learned like how to eat, how not to eat. And obviously you got people like that that don't learn, but you know, the training and you know, the distractions off the, the field, the court, the ring, et cetera, et cetera. So like, do you take time to study other athletes, you know, and what their routine is, what their regimen is? I don't, I, I really don't study other athletes, but I, I, I will watch like, um, it's a it's not far as um like far as like them working out or anything like that but mindset wise i like ultra mindset because of not just saying because he here right because of he don't let the outside world determine what he need to buy like far as <laughs> Like when I was com- when I was first start getting money, right? I wanted to prove that I got money, so I was buying uh, I was buying everything that was coming out. Now I just if something coming out, I don't gotta prove that I got money, so I just I don't need to get that. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Bro, yeah it's, it's, I'm telling you. Things like and uh, what's what's the other guy name? Got goosebumps. What's he from? He a running back. Marshawn Lynch. Marshawn Lynch. Yeah, he another one. Yeah. Take care of your chickens. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm getting goosebumps yeah. right now, hey. bro. Yeah. I'm getting goosebumps, bro. Like, yeah. We're talking about evolving. You're yeah. 27. Bro, like, you turn into a, like, man, ter, man, manhood, there ain't no age. You yeah. can become a man at 19. You become a man at 32. You can become a man at 55. Bro, your fucking mindset like I can see it, and I don't spend a lot of time with you. To you know what I'm saying? I just see you when you in here, here and there, and you just locked in, dog. Like your mindset, dog. Like you turn into a man, you turn into a pro. And I'm telling you right now, Adam. You know I know you know boxing, Ocho. Y'all know boxing, but everybody better watch out, yeah, for sure. Because mm-hmm. now you take raw talent with the pro, with the approach, the right mindset and approach, eliminating distractions. It's a wrap. That's greatness. Yeah. yeah. That's legendary, and that's the question you have to ask is like legendary, but I do, I wanna challenge you. The reason why I ask who are you studying is because I truly believe you should drop down your top five athletes, like like greatness. You have an opportunity to go down as one of the 
greatest fighters ever, one of the greatest athletes ever. You shouldn't even be thinking about putting yourself in a box as one of the greatest boxers ever. You should be thinking about athletes, businessmen, right? Yeah. Peyton Manning, get on his calendar, bro. Talk to him, ask him, like, yo, like, t- talk to me about your routine. Drew Brees of the world, the LeBron James of the world. Go humbly, take out, open up a notebook. Talk to me about what you do. Teach me how to become one of the greatest athletes. If you do that, bro, oh my goodness. Whew. Whew. I, think I need to do that. Mm. Well, no, let me ask this For question, sure. though, because, Javante, you talk about like flipping that switch and getting more serious about stuff. I know years ago, or maybe more recently, you changed your phone number. Yeah. So you cut a lot of how people you know out. That? What? How do you know that? It's our job. We're <laughs> journalists. Job. Yeah, I'm we a journalist, journalist pal. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> I've talked to you in the past, Jay. That's my job, yeah. You talked about how you changed your phone number, and that yeah. was like a big thing. Like, is that still, like, have you been able to cut out the people that weren't good for you that yeah. still maintain keeping them out? I'm, I'm, more so, I'm more so closed in now. Like, at first I was, it was, it's a, it's a lot, though. It was, it was, it was a lot, though. It's my outside life where I was doing outside the life. And more so, but now I'm more so, like, if you ain't family, you ain't, it's no really, it's not, you're not getting close to me. And like, he has a young daughter too recently, so yeah, yeah that changed. Grand, like, as yeah. far as like naive of family, family meaning like loyalty to each other right. type shit. You don't fam- have to be blood. Fam- yeah, yeah, family ain't always family. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nice but yeah, my daughter's and I just had um, a second daughter, you know what I mean? So. What did that do to you? I mean... It, it make me more humble for us, though. I got to save for them. I got to start, you know, preparing for after boxing. Because in boxing, they always want, they, they, they want you to, they want you to, they respect you when you get beat up. That's when they respect you, when you in a hard, tough fight. But it's, it's much so, it's much more after boxing. You know what I mean? I want to be able to, like you said, mm-hmm. you, you, you you left the game and you yeah. got your brain like you you you're comfortable like yeah. you're good. That's how I want to leave the sport of boxing. Well, I want to I want to have a big impact on boxing, but I want to be able to leave boxing with all of my faculties. You know what well, I mean? so how much longer do you think you have left in boxing? I ain't taking no punishment, so you never know. Uh, you do emerge pretty much unscathed. I mean, you know, uh, there's some fights here and there, but yeah, it, with you and your knockout power. And your ability to end fight in a blink of an eye, you probably can't have a long shelf life. And like compared to years ago, the smaller guys, like you guys tend to have a like a, you know, long you'd be long. done by 30. Mm. And Floyd kind of, yeah, for the most part, like the smaller guys, historically in boxing, you guys didn't have a longer shelf life. Floyd kind of switched that up a little bit. And you see guys now with nutritionists being really dedicated. You could have a really long, extensive career that could last another, you know, why are you shaking your head? I mean, I, <laughs> the, <laughs> fact that you said, the fact that you said Floyd's longevity is because of nutrition. I'm, I'm not saying the nutrition. Do, 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 do Floyd drink, do there, Floyd drink okay. alcohol? I don't know. You don't he know. says you don't no. Know. Floyd says no. Yeah. Yeah. But, but you can have a long okay. career, yeah. I mean, years ago, decades ago, that wouldn't have been the case. But it's not, it's not just that. It's, it's him. Some, he he uh, retired more than any fighter that's been boxing. He made he a shit ton of money. He retired by like five times. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's Should. typical of boxing also. There's a million guys who have retired and unretired, yeah. So he you can, can come back whenever you want if you want. You, right. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. He, yeah. But he made it to that stage where as though he can do that. You know what I mean? So yeah. he, he didn't – and when he fight, he don't take punishment. And like he's, a, he's so. the poster child of not taking punishment yeah, being so. able to keep fighting. So 100%. Yeah. You dodge the punches, you yeah. keep fighting. Yeah. So, I mean – and he always – well, they say he always training. What do you mean? Why? What you said? I don't know. You said you. When did you meet Floyd? I met Floyd probably like uh, ten years ago. Okay. No, no, no. It was probably like probably like eight years. I'm sorry. Probably like eight years ago. So you say I don't know, and you say that you say you know they 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 and they say I like to get messy on the show. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <they> say, <laughs> you what you, you you bro? You sending subliminal messages, bro? Nah, I ain't. Oh, not. I said that good. You know, I I be messing up words on this show. I said subliminal. <laughs> nah. What kind of message you trying to send? I mean, I ain't trying to send no message. Do you want me to ask a question? Floyd for, you know you, what I mean? If you want yeah. All right, I'll, I'll, ask, <laughs> I'll be the backup. All right, so, Javante, obviously one of the biggest storylines coming up in this fight is that this potentially could be your last fight with Mayweather Promotions. So, obviously, those of us who follow the sport intimately are curious, what's the deal? Do you think you and your relationship with Floyd from Ben's perspective is going to continue? Uh, I mean... I can never take nothing away from Floyd because he he the one got me out 
he put me in a position to make money. You know what I mean? He, he um, I never can, you know, uh, go against him. But sometimes it's, it's time to, you know what I mean? It's time to grow up and become your own man. That's all. That's all. I never said nothing like um, anything bad or like too bad or anything like that. But it's time to, you know what I mean, be my own man, handle my business like me hands on with my own, you know what I mean, my own business. I mean, you guys, have been, you guys have been free agents. Yeah. So you could be a free agent come summertime. Is that what's really enticing to you, the idea of like going out and shopping yourself and seeing what's out yeah, there? Yeah, it's time to, you know what I mean, put on them pants. You know what I mean? Put mm. on them pants and be that man. Me can do it, though. But, but I mean, listen, Floyd left Golden Boy, right? He did well for himself. He did top, his own top rank. Thing. Yeah. Top rank, so. yeah, top rank. Meek, 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 Meek Mills left uh, uh, Maybach <laughs> Music. But, but even when you say that, like, explain to me that, because I, I, I read something where you started your own. Is it, was that recently you started your own promotional company? I started my own promotion probably like a, a year ago, but people just like paying attention to it because I said I'm not with Floyd. I mean, I'm not going to be with Floyd no more after right. this last fight. But I didn't say nothing bad, though. I just said mm-hmm. I'm not, I'm not going to yeah, be with Floyd. Yeah, but Floyd also said really good things about you, too. He talks yeah, about so, loving you like a son, like, you know, yeah. helping you put up good fights. But, yeah, I mean, at some point, sometimes business just, you know, you go your separate ways. Yeah, um, it's, no, it's not bad about that. People just make it like that because it's just... Well, boxing tends to be messy, so, yeah, that, yeah that's, I mean, that's par for the course there, yeah. I have a question. Isn't that a good thing, though, when you're in a, when you're a position like Tank is? You have the star power. You can feel any arena, no matter where you go. You're, at the, you're in the top echelon of fighters. Why not put your big boy pants on and then transition into your own thing where you get the bulk of the pie? I mean, again, the boxing fan across from me, I mean, you're arguably, not arguably, you're a top five draw in boxing. Mm-hmm. Top three. Canelo, you can maybe say top three. Top three. Canelo, number one. We can put number two, I'd say, like Tyson Fury right now with his UK fans. And you, the way you fill up arenas, you could be arguably number three. We can have an argument with some other guys here and there, but like you are definitely a top five, maybe top three attraction. So yeah, 100%, I get the idea of going out on your own. But just because if you do go out on your own, doesn't mean you and Florida are going to be in some nasty kind of like situation. Like you'll always have nah, love and respect I can't for each still other. Work, I, I still like... You still work with him. off the table. I'm yeah. just saying I'm, a, like, I'm not signed. To, I've been signed to him for seven years. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's time for me to... Time to spread your wings. Yeah. You yeah. know what the number seven means in the Bible? You tell me. It's the number of completion. I mean, I don't mean to go in church. It ain't... I'm not church. the religious type, so you go ahead. Go church. ahead. I'm just if you got a sermon, go ahead. Go Take ahead. us to church. <laughs> that was it. Seven is the number of completion. So he, he, he... Everything I needed from that phase of my life, that chapter, I'm good, I'm complete. Now it's time to move on. That's what you're saying. No, yeah. I'm not saying. I mean, either, either way it goes, it's a win-win regardless. You stay with Floyd, you're yeah. going to win. You go on your own and do your thing, you're going to win. Because it's already in him. You know why? Right. Because God has favor. Right. Okay. God has favor. If you want a tip, let me know. I'm here. Bet. <laughs> uh, we coming to an end, sitting here with Javante Tank Davis, sitting here with Adam Cat, and we got my man Ocho. I am athlete. Still trying to figure out what this name Told of this you. style. I A A bitch. It's you, all about you don't delivery. Like I A. What you like, Tank? Like how? Because you know how our show is. The like, vibe. So like, let me see real quick. So here, here's what we you have. Really Mandeville. F- trying to find a name. Yeah, because like everybody know, like you know, they expecting you come with the fashion, the drip, whatever. Uh, we got the music. We got the whole vibe. That's a big production, bro. A lot of people don't know. Like, that's a big investment too. A lot of resources. This is easy. I can put this, we can put this show out tonight. You know what I mean? It's easier on our team and post. And then it's easier for you. you. Just finish training. Now you jump in. It's easy. Boom. Get in. Get out. And we still had a dope conversation. So the opportunity, like we got to, I'm in the branding. I'm in the marketing. You know, we got to make sure the audience isn't confused. Can you change it? Like every time? No, we're not changing it. We're just <laughs> going to say like, this is I am athlete. Hashtag. You can say I am athlete straightforward. I am athlete straight up. I am athlete no cap. I'm unfiltered. saying, can you change it like? Every time, like every time you have like, yeah, yeah, like, but yeah, yeah, like yeah. if we do this one, every time we have a oh, microphone, talking about this one, yeah, like we have a microphone in our face, like oh, when right. we did had Wayne on the show, it was lofts sitting oh, right, back yeah. chilling, oh, right. you know, you come in chilling. Right now, you be underdressed for Iron Man Athlete Miami. We yeah. would have to send you out. We wouldn't be able to do the show. 
Like, how much would you go? What would you get? I mean, you got the Supreme hat Yeah, normally, on, normally like, you're wearing, like, much, like, you know, tighter stuff. Like, you're normally, like, dripping out left and right. Like, gallery department, you're, like, normally rocking that stuff. This is, like, like dressed down for you. You know, you know what we can do? Also, we can go top three fashion fashionable boxers. Ooh, do that. Uh, Ooh, I yeah. already know. I already me know. Up there. Me, Charlo me, Brothers. Me. The Charlo no, no, Brothers. No, no, exactly. No, yeah. Charlo, Charlo, Charlo me, Brothers me, up there with you. Me, me, me. Oh. <laughs> but what about the bro- what about the twins? <laughs> no. They can't. Come on, bro. Bro. Ooh. Me, me, me. You didn't like that hat that Mel was wearing on the pay-per-view last hey, weekend? Me, me, the boy me. was sharp. The boy was sharp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He cut too, though. My brother's stepping. Wait, by the way. Yeah. My brother's stepping. Um, so give me real quick, because they Fashion, <laughs> bro. Me, you me, just me. made headlines, bro. The Charlo twins. You got it. Who else you like, Ocho? Cause he ain't he biased. Fashion wise, yeah. You definitely you up there. You know. I, I just told you. I don't know. I, I can't. Just I, can't top, s- I just told you the top three. Give me the top three. Boom. One. And the Charlo twins. Okay. I mean, everybody else is hit and miss. You know, Arrow. Eh, eh. It's, it's hit and miss. Floyd. Well, he retired. We can't. We want to do. Uh. See, there you go. <laughs> See, there you go. <laughs> See, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Listen, Something's it's, going it's, on. Listen, it's, it's, <laughs> it's not about how much money you have. It's about being able to put it together. Put it together. I know. Yeah. That's what you do well. That's it. I'm struggling sure. with that. <laughs> Give, rank my outfit right now, bro. It's House yes. of Bath. Yeah. I'm one, just one to ten. That's a four. <laughs> 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 I got the shades. So I'm trying to wear them. Uh, what is it called? Help me. Uh, promoting. Yeah, I know, but like, you know what I'm saying? I try to wear the turtleneck because I'm trying to, what to say, accentuate my neck. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to add layers, put my glasses on. Like, wh- what can I do differently? You, you promoting, bro. That's your brand. You right. can't go wrong with promoting your brand. You got to speak into Promoting your brand. You can't, can't go wrong in that. Right. I right. finished, though. But I'm okay, though? Yeah, you good. You're good. Okay, bet. Oh yeah. All right. So real quick, what you like? You like IA first cut, unlocked, uncensored raw, the warm up. You can't say now. uncensored because you always bleep out the cursing. Okay, bet. <laughs> the real. The real. Uncut, offset. I like offset. Unfiltered, no cap, straight up or straightforward. Don't the Migos have a trademark on offset? Mm, probably. The real. Yeah. Or we ain't going to trademark and do all that. Just like let the audience know we content coming out i don't know when oh i don't know but we gonna straight have to some. the point or, I straight don't to know. the point well i Who's like that Lord? i don't know <laughs> <laughs> all right so real quick before we get into tea time and end the show um top five boxers all time active oh active. and then we'll do all time oh, so good. top five in any weight class give me top top five yeah give me top five right now my top five or top five for, your top five your this personal. is you um, tank i don't even know what tank mean we gotta no, dive into no, that uh, get in the ring <laughs> 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 Shit. tank don't want to see me not bro i'm 230 bro not in order i think uh me earl mm. top five me earl devin Canelo. I'm never gonna see nobody that's in my weight class. Ryan Garcia. Hell no. Me, <laughs> Terrence. Me, Terrence. Me, Carl. Earl, Terrence, Canelo. It's a. It, it's, it, I ain't gonna lie. It's a. I can't even name them because it's. It's a. It's a I could do ten. Go ahead. Go ahead. Just go. Go. Um, me, Earl, Terrence, Canelo. What's the what's the the guy that's one thirty? He can't I mean, be top uh, ten if you don't know his name. No, he's from he's from Japan. Oh, in a way, in a way, yeah, I love I love in a way, yeah, Naoya in a way, I love him. Yeah, he's a thumper, yeah. Um, bantamweight champ. He tough. Hey, one thirteen, something like that. He fight nah, like he, he fights fight like, like, like he fight like he a he Mexican fighter. Uh, yeah, bully one eighteen. Yeah. yeah, he's strong. He tough. Yeah, unified at one eighteen. I like a I like a Shakur. Shakur, nice. Big fight coming up in a few weeks. Why Shakur. nobody talk about Booby? Is this Boo Boo Booby? Oh Boots, yeah. See, I like no, no about Boots, him. Boots and Boo Boo Andre, two, two different, different people. people. Yeah. What Who about Boo Boo? It's about Boo Boo Andre. Demetrius Andre. Oh, oh. No. I don't want. No. Okay, keep going. Keep it moving. Um. <laughs> I met him ten years ago. 
Good nice fighter. Guy. Charlo Good brothers. Mm. Oh, Joe. <coughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> but you gotta, but you gotta put um, what's his name, big boy heavyweight. You ain't to go to the heavyweights. Um, no, Tyson Fury in your Fury. top ten. Fury, you gotta put him top ten, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, what about yeah. what about Josh Taylor? Josh Taylor. Undisputed at one forty. Josh, no. No. Why not? No. You seen his last fight? Yeah, it wasn't good against Jack Catterall. Floyd's still active in a way. Is he still top ten? He is like. That's Floyd. Would you put Loma yeah, in your man. top ten? But yeah, you could. Yeah, you, yeah for sure. Yeah, yeah. That's a good. Yeah, Cause that's I, good. I feel as though people overlook Loma now because he lost. But again, he had my yeah. weight class. I can't say. But that. he looked really good against Richard Comey. Now he's in Ukraine, you know, doing his thing. So right. hopefully he's back soon. Top five they, all time. They said they were gonna let him come home though. You well, gotta speak into the mic. You is mic. fighting. They the let the Usyk come back. Right. I gotta speak into the mic. Y'all know this is we we don't expect the same production. This is live, live to tape. Speaking to the mic, Ocho, you know what he said. What did you say? Mandeville said at the uh, beginning oh, of the show. What he said? Speaking to the mic. Know oh, what no. he said? <laughs> I don't know. I ain't saying. <laughs> you know what he said? What he said? Eat, eat something. Eat the mic. <laughs> He's Stephen Mandeville, director of production. <laughs> all right, top five, <laughs> top five, bro, all time. All time. And then we go into tea time, and we let you go, cause Floyd, Sugar Ray. Oof. Floyd number one. Yeah. No, 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 no order. Okay. No order, but. I said though he's number one yeah, though. That's um, Floyd, Sugar Ray. Floyd, Sugar Ray. Mike Tyson, gotta say Mike Tyson. Holyfield. Coach Kenny. Sugar Ray Robinson. You got Sugar Ray in there, yeah, yeah. You got him in. I think Manny belongs in the top five. All time? Yeah. Okay. But why? Resume, like, resume he, has, he has the most, again, Manny eight Pacquiao, divi- the, the, top five. Top five? Yeah. Eight division champion. Yeah. You know what he debuted at? Like 105 pounds. Yeah, yeah that's why, I don't know. It, it'd be hard. Resume crazy. Guys, yeah. Um, Manny's resume is ridiculous. Pernell Whitaker. But, but, yeah. but yeah. even, but when you sit down with boxing purists, I'm that one. When I, because, you know, we would say, you know, Mike Tyson. But a lot of people be like, yo, like, really look at who he fought and, you know, who he lost to. You know what I'm saying? Lost to Riddick Bowe, lost to Holyfield, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So it's like, you know, it's the flair. The fa- I mean, he almost knocked me out at Super Bowl. That went viral. <laughs> you know what I'm Oh, bro, I got to show you. You didn't see the video? Nah, I got to see it. Bro, look at this, bro. There's also one name we didn't mention. Who? The greatest. Who? Ali. Ali. Muhammad Ali. Oh, yeah. 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 Look, bro, check this out. Yeah, he, my bad for that. Who? Oh, oh, Ali. Ali. Oh yeah, I gotta find this, bro. I'm gonna find it for. I can, I'll show it to you offline. I'll show I like it to a you. lot of people though. So my top, I got. Well, that's the beauty like of boxing. It's incredibly subjective. You can pick whoever you like, and for reasons, yeah. yeah. All right, can we bring like the tea to end the show? Tea. Tea time. Tea time. This is our opportunity. I was, you know, like, I'm trying to figure out how to be a journalist. I'm trying to figure out how to ask the tough questions. You know what I mean? But still, you know what I mean? Make Thank this a safe place for athletes. You know, we had AB on after, you know, that situation. Um, Brian Flores, you know, and, you know, you and, you know, Cap, that was big for us, you know? But at the end of the day, like, there's some messy stuff we got to get into. That's, a, that's my way of getting messy. I'm watching a view and we be going deep, bro. We be talking about all kinds of stuff. So just an opportunity to see if we can get you to spill the tea. That's it. You know, this ain't really the, mach- the machismo part of the conversation. It's just. I just got, I got one question. That's it. All right. Really well, you like tea? Got one you question. like tea? Yeah, but I don't know. What is this? <laughs> lemon tea. What is it? Lemon tea? Lemon ginger. Lemon ginger? Yeah, lemon ginger. You sure? Get positive. Okay. I promise you. No What's alcohol. your name? No alcohol. Okay. Beyond the one. Okay, bet. Tea time. All right, you want to start it off? I'm start off. I'm start right, off. Go ahead. You want to s- pick up your tea? You got to pick, pick up your tea. You just so can't. It, s- don't spill the tea. All right. So if I don't want to answer, I got to sip it? Let me. Sh- I don't know. We, it's, <laughs> it's, we still trying to figure it out. Let me show you Chris Johnson. We had Chris Johnson. We debuted the, the, the tea time. Bring the tea. Ready? Go ahead, start sipping. 
So, <laughs> what? So, so Ocho's lady, uh, you know, Sherelle, phenomenal entrepreneur, phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal. Um, she starts, she founder, CEO of Allure, and uh, doing some major things there. Now I'm bringing it to Miami, Tampa, Miami Academy. But she started this show, it's like big time show, uh, Selling Tampa. And so Chris Johnson's selling, selling no tampa. <laughs> <laughs> did, the mic, did the mic pick that up? Right. He said selling tampons. I, I thought I thought that was what the damn. I'm bad, no, bro. no. Uh, selling Tampa. So real estate, right? Big big homes. We're talking about seven five. figures, five million dollar homes, ten million dollar homes. They do other small homes too, but like big deals. And so you know, one of the realtors is Chris Johnson's, you know, ladies are, you know, they, they have a situation. And so, like, whatever, I asked him, have you, have you watched Selling Tampa? He almost had me say tampon. <laughs> and, and, and it was uncomfortable, so he spit it out. So mm. it's whatever. Go ahead, Ocho. <laughs> tea time. Take a sip of your tea. Mm. What, what did it feel like? This don't got no sugar or nothing. No, no bro, it's healthy, bro. We at House of Nutritionist Athletes. Yeah, the nutritionist approved. Correct. Yeah, your nutritionist told us how to serve you. <laughs> <laughs> we good? You ready? In all seriousness, if you and I were to spar four rounds, let's just say four, for sake, it's about as, and we turned up, how long before you think you tap out? <laughs> I think if we spar and keep it real. I want in You go it, 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 it would never be it would never be a time where as though I go for full throttle. You have to. I can't. I can't. It's like hitting the baby. I can't. Hit no, the what? It's like hitting the baby. You see my defense? It's like, it's, it's like Yeah, I watched the fight. It was yeah, a good that fight. That was, was seven fight. months ago. Right. You think I still look the same? You would yeah. you wouldn't turn up? Nah. Coach. 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 Can we, at some point, just camera four rounds and tell him to go full throttle, please? Okay. Mm. Then I'll start off and, and throw the first lick. Yes. <laughs> and four? And four. You think so? You think so? Well, Neil, you are the ref. <laughs> you are the ref. I ain't talking about not going like eight counts and stuff. Right. Three eight counts is over. Okay. Not not going. But now later down the line, you get more strength. It might be better. Okay, I'm let me saying, ask you. Let me ask you this question. I'm six five two two forty. You going to sleep? <laughs> <laughs> but the, you know that's that's a big difference it's too in size. Much. You got yeah, too but have much. you seen him against taller fighters? You got yeah. too much. Yeah, but the dude in Atlanta I was talking about, wasn't that the, the fight I was talking about? Yeah, Mario's yeah. 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 tall. He I destroys tall taller fighters. He probably like six something. You can, you can handle no, me? No, he was like six foot. You can handle me? Yeah, but I want, I want, I want to go, I want to go crazy. You don't, you got to see him spot. I seen him fight. No, forget, no, you need to see the sparring session. It's different. Yeah. Yes, it's like, um, let me, you know how, you know how you see somebody punch? Okay, boom. And then you see somebody punch with intent to hurt. Right, right, right. Yeah. But it's hard to explain unless you, you got to be yeah. there and see it and you can, you can feel the intent behind it. Like, what did he do to piss you off? That kind of sparring. Well, I, I seen it for the first time, heavyweights, when I flew to London, Steven Espinoza, um, and watched Klitschko and Anthony Joshua. That was the first time I, I, you know, that was the first time I watched the fight and said, oh, someone can die in the ring. Yeah. Damn that good fight brutal. you went to. Bro, yeah. that was brutal, bro. Yeah. That was disturbing. That was a great fight. I think it was the fight of the year. That was yeah. disturbing. You See, can... People love that. See? People yeah. love stuff like that. People are about to die. <laughs> yeah, because I'm not getting hit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not the one getting hit. Yeah, yeah. Right. Right, right. See? All right, all right. Tea time. Sip your tea real quick. Can I get a womp womp for Ocho's question? Womp 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 All right, here we go. Dinner tonight. McDonald's. You gonna, can you break bread with us, bro? What I'm gonna eat tonight? No, can you break bread oh, with yes. us? Oh yes, you can break bread with us. Yeah. Definitely. Okay, so 
You can pick one one person to bring you out. One person. You got to pick. Don't be political. You don't even come from a political place. Little baby or little dirt. Hey, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I rock with both, but I'm saying that me and baby there's been like locked in for a little bit like a little little time now so i say baby you say baby dope all right i don't know if you have tea time but you the guest i do so let's let's take a sip here Ooh, ooh. okay let, let him have two questions <laughs> <laughs> okay. oh you like it. you want to keep going look bro want to keep going all right thanks so who's walking you out for this fight uh, nah Come on, man. <laughs> nah, I try every time. Nah, every time before the fight, nah, try to never, find out. No. Come never on, who's question, walking you out? Never question. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. You ain't Are we in discussion phase or we have something finalized yeah. right now? Discussion phase. Yeah. Okay. Do, do you have to pay them to walk? Like, do they? Now, uh, rappers don't be on TV. Mm. I hope them. Yeah, exactly. Mm. That's, not, no, that's promotion not, right not, there. I, 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 not like that. Not like that. <laughs> <but. laughs> no, nah, not, not like that, though. It's a win-win for everybody. Shout out to my rapper homies. It's a win-win for everybody, basically. Yeah. Have you heard Ocho? Like, l- listen, bro. Like, look. Nah, we'll pay you. We'll pay that. you don't to let that. Ocho come. Don't we'll let you. We'll pay you to let Ocho walk you out. No. How about that? I look. Got... You seen Ocho flow uh-uh. with Lil Wayne? No. Let me see. Look, bro. Oh, What's we got it. We got it. Ah. Uh. All you gotta do is listen to the bars. <laughs> Hold on, look. It's 2022, and I've gotten better over the years. Right? I can't remember the last time we battled, right? The world gonna see this. You already know who the winner is. I got cut some fun if you play with me. You want smoke? Hey, DJ, man, let me get that beat real quick. Man, let me think this joke, man. Man, a man got a beat queued up. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Got Wayne on the show. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Put me in the game, coach. It's not a game, coach. I never won a Super Bowl, but my name still rings. Oh. That's it. That's what I'm saying. That's it. That's a good line. Yeah. That's a good line. I think that would be legendary, bro, because it's unexpected. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. Nobody would expect no. you to walk him out. I don't, I don't, I don't want to play boxing. No, you're walking him out. That's what do you mean playing? Still playing because it's as if I'm a rapper. You boring. We pay you, bro. That's fire. He got, he got. It, how many bars did that? That was two. That was two bars. Need <laughs> <laughs> like fourteen more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right. Bet. Hey, listen. Legendary. Okay, you got Wait, one, one more. more question. Final question. Okay, sip your tea. What's the money split between you and Ryan? Mm. Money split? Yeah. 60-40, 70-30, 80-20. I think 55-45 no. is good. You're the A side. I say a... I say 7-30 if I'm like getting real strong, <laughs> but... More, it it probably would be like sixty forty. Hey, if that's what it takes to make the fight, let's sign up right now. <sighs> sign for it right now. Oh my goodness, that'd yeah. be legendary. No way he turned that down. Sixty forty. I mean, they both bring big audience, but it's like I'm more established than than than. Matter of fact, says, seventy thirty. I know, I'm but he says he's the biggest seven, star. Seven thirty. I mean, seventy thirty. I'm and bugging. We, we, we can't take that's the, we wanna but that but yeah that's showing love like right 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 like, i do i do 60 40. all right boom you got it sign Spilled up the sign team. it right now we good get the contracts hey, going ocho promotions made the deal adam promotions made the deal <laughs> in the collaboration <laughs> with what's your promotion is it promotion company what is yeah, it called yeah gtd promotion all right bet can you talk to us a little bit before we go about uh the fight coming up and 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 make sure people listen our people our audience you know, make like we gotta understand how to support each other. You know, we look at it and be like, you know, ah, oh, they good. Nah, man, we want to keep going. We want to make sure we build out our teams, take care of our team and our family and our communities. So it's important. 
You know, so like, where can we, how can we support the fight? Where can we watch the fight? You know, talk to us a little bit about that. May 28th in uh, Barclay Center, Brooklyn, New York. Um, fighting Roly Romero. Somebody that's, he talk trash. He, a lot of people don't know that he actually, like, he can fight. A lot of people don't know. He got his little awkward. He just awkward. So people don't, like, they not used to that. You know what I mean? So he can hit. Um, yeah, he's, he's going on pay-per-view, so he got to be, you know what I mean, somebody that can fight a little bit. But I feel as though it's going to be, this going to be like a, a um, good fight as long as it lasts. Who's designing your trunks this time? What's, what is it going to look like? Because that, uh, that's the favorite. That's a lot of people love that. They pay just to see you come out. What you wear? Will you ever wear fur again? Ooh. Nah. <laughs> nah <laughs> that didn't go over well in the McGregor fight, yeah. Nah. You came up with fur. <sighs> Why well, then? Uh, Twitter didn't like the fur. Uh, I mean, Twitter don't like a lot of things. Twitter doesn't like a lot of shit. Like You're right my, about that, yeah. My Rick Owens. Mm. They ain't like a lot they of things. A lot, of, a lot of stuff goes, goes over Twitter said, yeah. I mean, so, it's Twitter. So, so what we going to see when you come out? May 28th, pay-per-view. It's Showtime, right? Barclay Center? Yeah, Showtime, pay-per-view. Um, okay. Barclay Center. Step up. What's going to yeah, be about 50, up. 60 bucks, 40 bucks? How much is it? To get in? Yeah. No, 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 no. Pay-per-view. On pay-per-view? Uh, I don't know yet. It's going to be a couple I dollars. Like, Listen, yeah. you know, if $60 is too steep for you, get about six of your homeboys. Everybody put in 10 bucks. Chip in. Yeah. Chip in. Just like we House did party. on gas when it was like $5 We're trying to break gallon. records. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we trying sure. to do so. He go back. Yeah, you know so we can fight Ryan. All right, cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. All right, hey, right. I, I, I got one more thing. All right, go. One more thing. Matter of fact, Coach, I'm putting you on the spot, too. You know, I've been working. I, I ain't left the gym in seven months. So when the deal with Ryan does come into play, you ready? what's the chances I can fight on the call? <gasps> we we going to do numbers. I'll tell you what train. Because I, I would have to leave. You know, I'm with Pedro Diaz <laughs> at Tropical Park. So I leave there. No, we're best people just don't know. Listen, you ain't got to tell me nothing. I, I will listen. I will sacrifice. I will sacrifice no, my well, relationship. No, nah, we don't. No, nah, we don't want you to do that. Yeah, but we'll. Yeah, 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 I have to. You just heard the man talk about loyalty. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. You can bring a Yeah. Yeah. You on the show? Yeah. You on the show? So there, there you go. Ooh. You on the show? Well, first you heard it right here. It's That'll done be fire deal too. Yeah. Yeah. Garcia. Versus Tank Before. Davis happening. Uh, when we doing yeah, it? it September? Is. When is it? No, cause what? Uh, probably. Let's not look past Roly though. But we okay, but that's May twenty eighth. Yeah, shoot, shoot for November. Going to November. Well, you gonna be covering the World Hopefully Cup? Hopefully, if he takes a fight. You ain't November, you can't do you November. Got a number on him? Or a number of somebody around him? Tell okay. him. We'll, we'll dig one up, yeah. Right. Anyways, here we go, mate. Actually, I do. Yeah, actually, twenty eighth. <laughs> I do. Yeah. The Barclays Center, Brooklyn. Stand up. And everybody, get your homeboys, all your, your, your friends, the family, everybody chipping five bucks to ten bucks. Make sure you get pay-per-view. Support the legend, the second coming of Mike Tyson. The stepper. Yes, Woo! The Sasuke. Ah. The Sasuke, yeah. bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>